So this is the Vagabond. If you've been following my channel, you'd see that we beat Elden Ring with every starting class at Camelor. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Suggested that we should do a series upgrading all the starting classes and to that I say, great idea sir. So today we will be kicking that off with the Vagabond. The Vagabond is fine and if we're being honest you don't really want starting classes to be OP. But my biggest complaint for this class is that it didn't have a personality whereas all the other ones except for the Confessor did. So today we are going to be doing just that and giving the Vagabond a bit of personality. So as far as the rules for this new series, we're going to be keeping the same starting armor. We're going to replace each weapon with a better one if desired and it's going to be in a similar class and we're going to be beating all remembrances except for Rykard. Having said that, we replaced the longsword with the royal greatsword, the halberd with Loretta's warsickle, and the shield with the ice crest shield. As you can tell we decided to add a bit of intelligence to this build. Although the starting strength and dex are high, the longsword and the halberd don't scale great with either. I did think about leaning into one of the stats, but high strength weapons are really heavy obviously. I didn't want to split our stats between three categories to maintain a sufficient equipment load and as far as decks there are a ton of decks heavy classes uh, so instead we get to focus on strength and intelligence plus these weapons are cool and I haven't used them yet so without further ado let's make the vagabond smart let's add some intelligence and let's get started all right so as you can tell uh, we look cooler but we can't wield any of our weapons and we're also overloaded so we're off to a great start so I guess I'm going to be walking bird oh got to pick up the finger this wouldn't usually be a problem except for i can't run so we obviously need to get our endurance up i think the quickest way to get stuff online is to get radagon's icon i mean that'll get us the majority of the way to the endurance and then we'll probably need like four more endurance all right i'm just gonna walk for a while all right we don't have to rush because we can't run um uh, we can't kill grail uh, we could if we could wield the Royal Greatsword because I think it does do frost. I think the Wolf's Assault does frost damage, um, but we can't wield it. So it, we're just going to be doing this for a minute. The only problem is I don't know where I'm going to get my second five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let me let me rephrase that. I don't know where I'm going to get the everything past like plus four. I'm... I don't think we'll have enough to rank up, but we'll try. It's not gonna make a difference even if we do. I do think we're gonna take Abductor Virgins to Altus because we have to we have to go there anyways to get our early game six and seven. So might as well, I guess. Oh. Oh, and you move normal speed on Torrent, dude. This is great. Alright. Um first things first, we're going to Fort Faroth. Because Radagon's icon or no, not Radagon's Icon, Radagon's Sword Seal. And there's also a rune that gives you 7,500, so. Nice. This is a one. Which that'll be, save us a little bit of money. And that's enough. We could try and do, I mean, I really wanted to. We could do try and do Knight's Cav. I just absolutely hate that with all of everything I am. All right, beautiful. So there's a couple ways we can get around this taking forever to get online. Uh, there's the strength tier, um, and then there's also the intelligence tier, which isn't really out of the path. I mean, at some point we'll have to go there and we don't need this. That's why I want to kill BBK, but uh, I always get this grace. We'll just get it. So maybe let's get the strength tier. Let's go to Liernia and let's go get the intelligence tier. I mean, we're going to need that grace eventually anyways. So it's not like it's a waste of time. That sounds like a plan. I'm not sure if it's a good one, but it's a plan. And then I'll get all of our weapons online and then, you know, we'll rank up and do all that fun stuff. Oh, we're not gonna, I'm dumb. We're not gonna be able to run and jump to go get the rune. Oh man, that was a mistake. Okay, let's sit at this grace. Let's pop our runes and see how much we have. Okay, we have 6,000, should be a couple levels. Is that now just heavy load? Oh, nice. Okay, now we can go get perfect. This worked out just as I had planned. All right, so we need this rune. All right, and we're gonna have to quit out because we actually need our runes, like really badly. Perfect. Uh, we're gonna need this too. We need three. There's two in Limgrave that we'll get. 
back to Limgrave. Strength tier, and then we're gonna go, and then we're gonna go to Liernia. I think that's the best play we have on the board at the moment. Um, so after we get this, we should be able to get all the physical damage, which will be bueno. Also go to Bernal and get his grace, because we'll need that. Thank you. So we just need three intelligence levels after we get the tier. Talismans with the curse mark of death, so we can't use that. All right. Oh, I missed. Second time's a charm. All right, and then there's a somber four right over here and a dude sitting in a chair. That's always a good somber four to pick up. Our other somber four is gonna be in Kaled. And then our two somber threes are in Raya Lucaria if we want them. All right, Um, do I think I could bully Godric or uh, Margit with heavy equip load? I think so. I think we can, I think we can kill Margit. I think we can kill Margit. That'll be 12,000 runes. We're doing 2,000 a level. So it's like, I don't know, probably four levels. That'll definitely get us to medium load. So yeah, this will be fine. If it's that bad, then we'll go do something else. Oh, that's pretty decent damage. Oh, that's big damage. Big boy damage. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. Phase two. Okay, well. Mm, I don't think I want to try that again. I didn't really enjoy that. You can try Night's Cab, I guess. There's a graveyard above Night's Cab anyways, so we'll at least do that. Oh my god. Thank the lord. Okay, so going to use exactly how much we need to rank up. Okay, so endurance. Still heavy load. Dude, I did not anticipate needing this much endurance on this run. Or I might have done something different. This is 30. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's 34 endurance. Okay. Um, so let's do two or three intelligence. And that's all we can do. Okay, well, at least we can medium roll and use our weapons. Uh, now we're gonna go kill this earth tree. I think I can do it in three minutes. I feel like I probably can do it in three minutes. So this is going to require a lot of levels, but that's a good thing, kind of, because we get to kill bosses that I don't get to kill often. Uh, we usually kill this one all the time, but BBK, great boss to kill. I don't get to kill BBK often, so this works out fine. And that should be it. Come on. Okay, well, we're not screwing this up. Oak. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. So, with 91,000, should be able to do something. Okay. Then, should we get to 34 so that we can take this stupid thing off? We need big. All right, now we're going to see if we can kill... Why can't I wield this? Did I not get 22? I don't think we can kill BBK in quick enough time. I don't think this is a good idea. Okay, let's start going doing useful things. Like, I don't know, killing Margit. Jeez. All right, we should be able to tank through Margit now. And then be able to get the Godric. Godric should be fine too. Plus zero on both of these, should be fine. Two fifty, nice. Doing pretty good damage. I mean, acceptable damage at least. That move sucks. This has turned into a mess. That's what this has turned into. Dude, I hate that move so much. Not really fast though, but it's super tanky. So this is the same uh, move as the winged scythe has. So it's pretty good. We could go get a uh, warrior jar shard now, which is going to be one of the talismans that we actually permanently use. It's gonna be a while before we can like natively actually wield this stuff, which is fine. 
After we get plus four, we can probably go back to BBK, which will be after we go kill Renala, or at least go to Riot of Garia. I guess we don't have to kill Renala right away. Probably will, but we don't have to. Now this uh, Ash Award does stagger really easily. So, or stance break, I guess it's not really stagger. Now I'm heavy lit. I'm gonna lose my mind, man. All right, um, I'll go ahead and go do Godric. The Godric will give us 40K, so that'll be like three or four levels, depending on how you slice it. Dude, I I really want that talisman that Nefeli Lou gives you, but I don't want to summon her. I'm not a big fan of summons. We're gonna try the Wolf's Assault. They're not the Wolf's Assault, whatever this stupid thing is called. Royal Greatsword. Hoping it's the Poise Monster. Poke. 166 is pretty good. Nice. Nice. Ah, uh, did pretty good damage. Let's see if we can get Frostbrock. Answer was no. Should definitely be able to get a stagger, so I think I'm gonna go for the stagger and then cross proc. Oh, well. Still didn't get it. One hit Godric, I will take it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good for me. So based on my guesstimation, uh, we're just gonna have to get good at the game for a little while. And I think we're just gonna have to dump and do endurance some more. Okay, so. I can get a four in Kaled. Um, um, we can get our threes. Um, we just need to buy twos, so I guess let's go to Ryo Lucaria. Okay. Probably go to Redon with a four and a five. Um, a plus four and a plus five. We could have up to a plus seven, I think. Or, well, actually, we could have up to a plus nine at the time that we go to kill Redon, but I think that that's definitely overkill. Alright, so now we need to... So we'll just have to buy twos. I don't know where a good, reliable couple spots for twos are. I'm sure they're not difficult. Um, I think there's one in the tunnel that you get the first smithing stone belt bearing from. Alright. Based on my original planning, we will not be doing Millicent's questline. Things may change, but I don't think they're going to. All right, now we should be able to do plus four on both weapons, I hope. Uh, yeah, we need a one and two twos, and now we can't strengthen them. Okay, uh, Red Wolf will give us, I did the wrong one. Red Wolf will get us the rest of the way there. Oh. Nice. Dude, I suck at dodging that attack. Okay. All right, let's go get these plus four now. Uh, we don't need to purchase anything. Okay. Which one does more physical damage? 176, 173. So it's about, let's do Loretta's War Circle in phase one because phase one cannot stagger. So it kind of doesn't make sense for me to worry about poise damage. Okay. Oh, this is definitely not bad. I mean, it'll be a, be a two cycle, but it's definitely not bad. This might actually benefit from uh, a consecutive attack talisman. Nice. Oh, I didn't know it would do that. Oh, dang it, idiot. I thought she was going into her summons. 
and she so she actively does disappear i did not know that okay goodbye i mean it's definitely cool it just it does not do as much frost damage as i thought it would maybe it's my fault for having different expectations but i do have a good feeling that we will be using that uh function no we do not have enough um we're not gonna waste these so let's go kill loretta and go ahead and set up ronnie's quest line i did think about using the troll's night sword but i figured that this one was cooler so that's why we went with this one. Oh, this kind of does work against her too dude this is so ugly Goodbye, Loretta. Killed you with your own weapon. But that doesn't feel good. 24,000. Should be able to rank up once. Um, and then the rest we're just going to lose. This is what it is. Not sure if we're going to need to sleep them or not. On the bright side, we have next to no health. So, shouldn't have to worry about getting killed by this thing. 19 Vic. Solid. 35 Endurance. I mean, our strength isn't even remotely good either. Nice. We'll go get the six first. I do know that there is a five somewhere in Volcano. Oh yeah, I know where the five is. Never mind. Um, I don't know where we're getting our second six from now. Could go try and kill the Falling Star Beast, but that one's definitely out of the way. I like to avoid out of the way ones. Um, I think there is another. It might be a five. I hope it's a six, but it might be a five. Uh, I was not gonna get hit by that second one. Nice. We're just gonna take the repost because I don't think um, does not seem like the wolf's assault is going to frostbite anybody on one. Wow, got out of that one. So that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that you don't have time to roll poke and then roll if he's going to do that move, the noble presence. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, I mean, that's, how is that not a punish window? It's one of his bigger openings, and we can't do our fastest attack on it? Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, there it is. Nice. Did not know you could jump there. Okay. Here's our seven. Okay, there's that. We did not do the bridge, so that sucks. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the runes, and then the remnants of whatever we have left will be our uh, leveling up our weapons runes. Um, what do we need other than everything? So we're good on intelligence, not good on strength, and our health is pretty low. Uh, strength, we need 26, I think. Let's go for that. And then we might, I don't know, we might see about getting some foul feet. Yeah. Well, there's our second five. I guess we don't have to get the one over at Don's Arena. Then we go around here and somewhere over here, there is this. And I think that this is a six. If it's not, I'm gonna be upset. It is nice. All right, we shall keep going. Oh, uh, we kind of do need to go to the Dectus Medallion though, because we need to, um, or not the Dectus Medallion, but the Dectus Lift, because there's a tree over there that we need to kill for um, Physic Tears. I frankly do remember doing this before when I was using the Winged Scythe. Damn it, that wasn't great. Bro, I'm dodging! 
I hate, I hate these. Such BS, bro. Such BS. You know, we, we have to go down here anyways. We will come back for those abductor virgins and they will end up deceased. But I'm also not gonna spend seven hours dealing with it right now because it's so dumb. There's a lot of other things that I would rather be doing than fighting abductor virgins. I mean, we need to come and get this grace at some point, so it's not a complete waste of time. Nice. I think what we might do is we might go get the foul foot and go kill um, Black Blade Kindred, I think, because BBK gives more runes. All right, uh, let's go here. Actually, the first step's closer, but. All right, and let's go kill BBK. This is probably the better one to use, I think. It'll do more, I don't know. Let's go damage. Nice, come on, buddy. Come on down. Nice lag. I like. I mean, the oh man. I don't understand why this game lags so much on PC. Nice. I'll take that gladly. Nice. Which stagger? Nice. Take that. I don't like that move. Yeah, it seems to be. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Nice. Come on. Nice. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. That works for me. All right. So. Nice. I will take it. Now we go to Altus. Uh, maybe not Altus quite yet. Maybe not. I'm gonna go ahead and get Ritual Sword Talisman. I think we can go ahead and put that on and be fine. We're just gonna lose, like, right now we're at 30 vig because of it. I will lose five to uh, Radagon Sword Seal, but Radagon Sword Seal was never the plan, so it's fine. Should be able to destroy Gilika. She hasn't staggered. Okay. Let's not. Thank you. Still also have not gone to the round table. All right, let's, uh, I think I want to go kill Radon now. I think that is what I want to do. I'm not really worried about, not incredibly worried about getting hit by Radon here, but I think we can probably take a hit. I think both these weapons are going to be fine. I don't think either of them is going to... Well, the only thing is that... I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Loretta's Warsicle so far because the speed is not making up for the seemingly lack of poise damage that it's doing. Because like I don't really feel like it's that much faster, but this one does a ton more damage and more poise damage. And I don't feel like... Like, if I could get two of Loretta's... Uh, Warsicle attacks off for every one that I could do with the um, with the other one, then I think I would probably use it. We'll try it on Radon. I should have gotten hit there. I mean, did good damage, definitely. I don't feel like we were remotely close to a poise break. Oh, I lied. 
Nice. I mean, I'll take it. Not too bad. Not too bad. I think we had what one or two hits. I definitely have been able to no hit him before, so not disappointing, but you know the expectations are kinda high. Um now what? Do, do we want to do stuff here or we need to go to Limgrave for a moment and get the two starlight shards. I mean, this build is definitely taking a lot of levels to get online, but so far it's good. Um, it's definitely an upgrade and it's definitely different. The goal is to be an upgrade and to be different and to not have had the, you know, the same few weapons that we always use. So I would say mission accomplished. Having said that, it's not, it doesn't seem to be destroying anything, which I think part of it is the fact that I think I would feel differently if Loretta's War Circle was doing more damage. Of course, I'll take the mushrooms. Mushrooms are huge. Alright, let's go. Uh, want to get the Amber Starlight Shard, so then when we go do Salubius' questline, we can do it pretty much all at once. And past that much, want to get all the golden seeds and the two tiers that are here. Okay, uh, next, so we got this golden seed. Uh, what is the quickest way to actually get all these seeds? I guess it's go through here, come around, and then back to the church after. Can you go away, please? Thank you. Dude, I think it's interesting how once they get past a certain area, like, I mean, I understand them, like, de and being like, ah, eh, you're too far away. But, like, sometimes they just literally disappear. Like, that's got to be the most interesting way to have handled that situation. Okay. Now what? That's a good question. Let's put do Salubius' quest line and start Ronnie's quest line. Maybe. Is there an eight in the in the underground area underneath Altus? I don't know. If so, we could go down there. Cause we could get down there and that would give us another seven and another eight. At the moment, I'm not really sure which one I want to upgrade to nine uh, first. We'll be able to get his potion, go to round table, give it to Gideon, come back. He should be pleased with us. Then we discover his lair. Then we keep teleporting back and forth until we can buy, buy uh, more puppets. Gideon, I have a potion for you. That looks so uncomfortable, man. Why don't you just take off the mask? Choose. So there's one that I'm supposed to choose and one that I'm not supposed to choose. I feel like this one is the one I'm supposed to choose. And if we buy our two puppets, we can give him the Amber Starlight Shard and get our reward. Let's go kill this tree right quick. Get some runes so we can buy a spell. I think it gives us like anywhere from like six to 10,000, something around that. That'll be plenty. Come here, boy. Poke. Oh, wow. We're doing good damage now. Poke. Nice. Poke. Nice. That should be it. All she wrote. Yeet! Alright, now we gotta wait to get all the tiers. I think we only needed like 5,000 runes. Okay, so we only got 5,000 runes. Understood. Yeah, I thought that gave us way more than it actually did. Thank you. Alright, so that is good. Now, now what? I think there's a somber seven if you kill the fake Estelle in Ainsel. Let's try that. Well, Lake of Rot has some stuff too. So yeah, we'll 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 go underground. Go ahead and get our last smithing stones. And we should be really OP when we go into Altus and Landel. Alright, we're gonna see if we can just destroy ourselves right quick. I don't think we ever picked up the whetstone knife. Actually, I guarantee you we did not pick up the whetstone knife. Ah, oh, dang it.
Nice. 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 Alright. Keep moving. We could potentially move this area up in our order. Well, no. The other fives are really easy to get. I'm gonna say, because this is a five, but... I mean, unless if unless we don't go to Volcano Manor, it doesn't really make sense to go find another five or to come down here. Yeah, I think moving this up in our cycle is going to be good because I think the runes definitely matter more right now than they do by the time we usually come back down here. I think this is a good idea. Plus, I typically dread going underground, but moving this up in the cycle will make it kind of beneficial. We get runes and we get a somber seven or should get a somber seven if I remember correctly. I, I really hope that I'm not just making this up. All right. Landing attacks is the hard thing with Moose because he's so tall. So you typically, like sweeping moves are typically what I've found to be the most effective. If we're talking melee, of course, I mean, spells are spells. I think I like the idea of using Loretta's Slash on this. Ah, uh, pretty good damage. In 2000, what was it? 1000, 2000 damage? Ow. Nice. Okay. That was enjoyable. Alright. Now we have burns. And we shall go back to the Ancestor Woods. I think we'll go ahead and let's continue on this path for now. Now, gargoyles shouldn't be too bad because they're weak to, they're weak to magic damage which is always helpful. All right, gargoyles, let's get after it. Uh, let's go back to Wolf's Assault, or not Wolf's Assault, the Royal Greatsword. Poke. Pretty good damage. Nice. <coughs> no one dead? Nice. Like, it'd be a good fight, in my opinion, if if it just didn't have... Didn't have the poison. And there we go. Goodbye. First try, Gargs. I mean, you're definitely... Pro definitely overpowered. <laughs> That's okay. Should be able to get us a 21 strength, and then we just need five more strength, and then we can... I kind of start playing the game. We'll go ahead and go kill Fia's champs and get ready for Fortisax. It's not not a big deal. We'll just have to come back for Fortisax later. All right, uh, strength. Nice. We're almost there. We are almost to where we get comfortable. At least we'll have underground out of the way. I like this running a whole lot better rather than beating the game and then having to come do underground. All right, uh, I think we're just going to do Lurida's Slash. This should stun lock him permanently, so we'll do that. Do you have the ice crush shield on? I think he does. I think we have the same shield. Or that might be the buckler. It's hard to tell. All right, let's try this on Roger. I mean, pretty effective. There we go. So it does seem that if I attack the second that we can lock on, that it's like the perfect cadence to uh, be able to use this. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Sit down. Thank you. All right. Okay, so this is the baby Estelle I think we need to kill. And it should give us our other seven. And then we just have to worry about eights and nines, which one, eight, and nine is in Kaled. The other should be in Lake of Rod, I think. There we go. Was I right? Yeah, I was. Nice. Good place for a seven. This is an easy eight to get to. <coughs> now the nine is on this stupid platform with the Onyx Lord, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do some stuff. Let's go do this. Then we'll go kill Estelle. Then after we kill Estelle, 
we'll go get our other eight and nine and then we'll max upgrade and go take on the world sounds like a solid plan to me dude when did you decide to be annoying dang it well that's what it is at this point 20,000 runes isn't even a level so i'm just gonna leave it Does good damage. Ow. Nice. It does do good damage. Nice. Dude, I love the sound of staggering the Estelles. It just sounds so good. All right, another Remembrance down. Uh, and let's go to Caleb and get our eight and nine. And we'll go upgrade. Then after we go upgrade, we will go, I guess, Lane Dell. I guess it's about that time. Come here. Stop. Nice. There's our eight. Now let's go get our nine, and then we will be blown this popsicle stand. All right. I think it's you on the ground. Yep. Nice. Okay. So we should have two plus nine weapons now. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, and now let's go to Landell. Probably need to use Loretta's War Sickle and Morgat. Probably use. Probably use the Royal Greatsword on DTS, and then probably use Loretta's War Sickle on Gold Furry, I think. That's probably the best move. My opinion on Gold Furry and God Furry, speed triumphs strength, just because with speed you have a lot more openings and a lot less chance of getting hit, and I think that pays off over time with how long that fight is typically. Quality start. Poke. Oh, dang it. Nice. Nice. Pretty clean DTS fight. I think I got hit like twice. Not too bad. I will take it. Alrighty. Hey, Melina. What's poppin'? Let's not teleport this time. I don't know why I teleported the first time. Like, that didn't make any sense. But, you know, sometimes there's just some idiocy that goes on. All right. Strength is done. We have upgraded to the strength that we need to be able to natively wield this stuff. So now we're just doing whatever gives us the best AR. That's three. Okay, we'll just go intelligence. Now we're going to take off the strength tier, put on the magic damage tier, and... Now we can take out this and put on, wait, what am I missing from this? 18 decks, are you, how did I miss that we did not have enough decks? Well, I guess we will use our Morgai runes and our gold fee runes to finish leveling decks and then we can go back to enjoying ourselves. I forgot about that. Nice. Ugh. Yaw. Okay. We can do him hitless anyway, so I'm gonna count this as a win. You no, know, we needed to die. We needed to die to have a better performance. That's how I'm gonna swing this. Nice. Yeet! I do like the R1. Okay. The R1s on this. Pretty saucy. If I do say so myself. Alright. 94,000. Let's up our decks. Uh, 
Okay, so that is an opening. Yeah, no, it's not an opening. That is, though. Didn't I just say I did not have time for that and then I did it anyways? Alright, come on, Morge. Although this hasn't been super pretty, this has been one of my better Morgoth fights, so I will take it. Nice. It wasn't pretty, uh, but it was prettier, you know? That's how we'll put it. And then that should give us enough decks to not have to use stupid Radagon Sword Seal anymore. Okay, sounds like a plan. All right, um, let's go get the Axe Talisman right quick. You're hungry, I have money. All right, got our Trainer Lilies for God's Can Duo, nice. There's this, and let's go back to... I like the East Capital Rampart for this. I don't know which one's actually quicker. I should probably time it. I mean, okay, it's not really that serious if we're being honest, but now for Fire Giant, probably going to use this weapon. Openings are longer, but there's less of them. So you can either do something that's super quick, that does pretty good damage, which Laura's War Circle might do fine. Or you can do something that's a little bit heavier and hope for poise breaks. I think that that's what I'm going to go for, is a little bit heavier and go for poise breaks. I think. Grab this just in case I die so that we don't have to go back up the stupid rolled lift. So we should just need one more endurance level for light roll, or for meat roll, medium roll. And then should be good just to rank up for, for power. We'll be good. I mean, we're not ranked up very high and we're already doing, I think it's like 700 AR for the Royal Greatsword. And then for Lurda's War Sickle, it's like 500. So we're doing good things. I don't know that we're gonna need blue, but we also shouldn't need red. So that's just kind of where we're at. All right, let's try this. Tap is 1800, okay. Charged, 2500. Uh, wow, okay. I would say we're doing pretty good. Jeez. Dude, if I had more stamina, we probably would have gotten directly into phase two and skipped phase 1.5. Nice. Okay, yeah, this thing is nasty. Probably could have done more there, but we didn't. Come on, bud. Do something. Do a flip! Okay, that's more like it. We'll take that take those come on we need like one more good hit nice all right on to ferrum that was rough okay that i think that took like five minutes <laughs> fire giant's a very stally fight unless if i don't understand that there are more openings which is always a possibility but i think he's a slow fight i guess you could go run around and whack his hands like while he's doing stuff but it's Hard to bait out good punishable attacks and not get hit doing that, so. All right, so one endurance speed good enough, and then that's three, that's two, that's two, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Clearly the better choice there is intelligence. Dude, there was a like two month period where I just could not make that jump and I died either every time or every other time. It was a tragedy. All right, guys can do a time. What do I think we can do to script this? So we're not gonna be able to script with Laura's War Cycle, I don't think. So I think we sleep, obviously. Then one time we can just try doing charged R2s, but I think either two charged R2s or at most three will stagger and there's not gonna be a status effect. So this is gonna have to do a ton of damage if we want that to end up how we want it to. Okay, you're gonna get slapped. Do your little flippy tack. 
Nice. And you're slept. Okay. So we're going to try this first. 1900. 2000. Okay, it's three. Yeah, okay. That'll do. Oh, we just didn't. Uh, that would have been fine if we didn't miss the uh, repost, but we did. So, all right. Uh, one. Two. Three. Nice. And dead. Okay. Ah, skinny. Okay. Okay, we can trade. That's fine. Ba. 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 Okay. Jeez, dude. This is so much damage. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. That is so great. <laughs> that was awesome. Big fan. Oh, that was great. Royal Greatsword. Big points in my book. All right. Uh, we're doing three. We're doing two. And only three levels. Nice. All right. Melikith. <coughs> we are going to have to go way of the birds, though, so that we can get the somber smithing stone. Somber ancient dragon smithing stone to rank one to plus ten. All right. Way of the birds. We don't need these anymore. We are quite efficient on that God's going to do a kill. I would appreciate that for sure. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, I didn't get hit. Okay. I think he does give like 20,000 now. I'm not sure if that's really worth it. All right. Malakith. Uh, dude, I don't know. I think phase one, we use Lord's War Sickle. Phase two, we switch to Royal Greatsword. I think that's our plan. I like that. Seems pretty solid to me. So I found out today, or actually no, it was yesterday, that if you give him all the Scooby Snacks or the uh death roots he has a different dialogue here which is awesome too long in my opinion and if it's gonna be that long come on nate if it's gonna be that long then i think the first attack has to do more than like three damage i will take that yeet i didn't need to dodge there Nice. Good RNG. Oh, nice miss. There we go. Zero deaths and deaths. Come on. Yeah, no deaths and death. That is literally the best RNG you can get. To kill what? I don't know yet. All right. We're still, still deciding what we want to kill. Gideon, for sure. <laughs> All right. Gideon. Two, three. Okay. Intelligence still seems like the move. Loretta's Warsicle, I think. I think that's where, I think that's what we do. Go to the Elden Ring. Come the Elden Lord. Bah! Okay, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know if NPCs can actually dodge this. Okay, that works. All right, can you shut up, dude? You are dead, deceased. Not even remotely close to alive and you're still talking. Three, two, three, yep. All right, Torlu, pretty certain we're just gonna use the war sickle on. I think that'll work fine. Nice. Good damage start. Nice. That's a good time to get a stagger instead of when we got it last time. Nice. Nice. Zoop. Oh, 
I definitely have time to do that. That was bad luck. Come on. And goodbye. Not great, not bad. Now we just have the uh, final boss and then the rest of the game. <laughs> I don't know. I think both of them are going to be good, but I think I'm going to use the Royal Greatsword. Go for more poise damage. Get poise breaks at the right time and it makes everything a whole lot easier. Plus 1400 damage. And poke. Yeah, we have time for that. That's awesome. Nice. Um, bah! I didn't think that he was still going to do that attack. Just health bar down this much. Okay, bye. Okay. That destroyed him. <laughs> I will take that. Easy Radagon fight. Look at the cape. Cape's doing his thing. What? He hits you getting out of water? Floating out of water gets you hit. Are you joking? Dude, that is a joke. Dang it, we almost got away from having to do Elden Stars. Nice. Goodbye. Oh yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, that's still three. That's one. That's three. That's three now. Okay. All right, let's start with... I guess we'll start with Plassey. Plassey doesn't require any prep work. So for Plassey, I'm frankly... Ow. Not sure what the game plan is. So Plassey is technically weak to piercing damage, which a roll poke would do, but that doesn't seem very um, efficient. Um, I don't think we're gonna have enough for charged R2s in between the lightning strikes. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure. And I think he's actually strong against Slash, which seems kind of weird to me, but we'll just get a feel for how everything is. All right, we'll start with a running R2. 807, so good damage. Charge R2 is 1217. Roll poke is 668, that's not bad actually. Now let's check, uh, check this bad boy out. Okay, I don't think this is the move. Just gonna go ahead and say it. Why, why in my brain did that think that he wasn't going to do that? Um, and honestly, I don't think we got any closer to actually deciding what we were gonna use. Uh, just not what we just did. How about that? Uh, charge R2s will be fine on this. Fuck. Why are we making this a thing? All right. Let's go do literally anything else. Good. We should have the Finger Slayer Blade, so I'll give this to Ranny. Then go get the Curse Mark of Death, and then, you know. Fortisax shouldn't be too bad. We might actually use Loretta's War Sickle and just should be able to slice through him. And then after that, we will probably go kill Nile, just because I don't think I want to fight Plassey again. And after we fight Nile, then I don't know. We'll see how we're feeling after we fight Nile. Nice. Then we just fall straight down. Nice. I almost missed and we would have died and I would have been sad. 
All right, curse mark of death. Uh, here. Wait, did we get the... We didn't get the grace. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure we already killed the... Yeah, we did. We just didn't get the grace. Yes. Please. Thank you. Oh man, gotta love Fia. Underrated character, for sure. How, how did... From what? I, I don't know. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what hit me. Did anything hit me? Dude, and bosses like this are the reason I don't do no hit runs. That's not true. The reason I don't do no hit runs is because of all the other mobs that are just super annoying that I know I would get hit by all the time. Dude, in all of my time recording, I don't think I've ever died to Fortis Act. Okay, this is just gonna continue to frustrate me. We're going to denial. Oh man, I just, I never have I had problems with Fortisax, but at the same time, with both Fortisax and Placidisax because of our VIG and because we do, we get 10% extra damage dealt to us because of the magic scorpion charm, because of those two things, we're pretty much one hit. Ah! Nice. Bro, it's literally, what? All right, let's see if we can. That did exactly what I thought it was going to, which is nice. And goodbye, there's one. Perfect, beautiful. How did that hit me? not staggered there we go Ugh. goodbye big damage don't have time for that wow okay nice so instead he wins the race or something like that all right uh... Placidus Axe. Maybe we take off the Magic Scorpion Charm. Raises intelligence? Uh, that might actually be like a good shout. I don't feel strongly about this choice, but... Nice, I guess. Uh, that works, I guess. So we are noticeably, like the 10% missing damage is noticeable, but it just kind of is what it is. Great. Quality. Okay, what are you... Oh. Uh, nice. Okay, fire. Goodbye, Dragon Lord Placidusax. Placidusax, whatever you want to call him today. Oh man. Okay, well, at least he's dead. Now we get to go kill his devilish brother, Fortisax. And just in case the extra HP or the extra damage taken makes that much of a difference, we're. Oh, we didn't use our flask. That's fine. We can use it right here. Really? 
Dude, I dodged. Dude, I'm missing. How am I missing? Dude's a huge dragon and I'm missing. D dude, come on, just one more. Thank you. Good lord, dude. Screw that, man. Screw that. Just not worth the time investment, like ever. All right, now it is time to go to our favorite place. Definitely feel like Moog's easier. Maybe if we go ahead and go do Melania. I mean, that wasn't the reason why I was gonna go do Moog first is because he's harder than Melania, because that's just not true. All right, bud. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna use on Melania. So my thought process is Loretta's slash is definitely gonna stun her every single time. But that's also a slippery slope to go down because then you do it a lot and uh, there, she has hyper, uh, wow, hyper armor in a lot of her attacks, which is a problem. We can go with big boy here, which doesn't really have any downsides other than he's super, super slow, which, I mean, speed doesn't necessarily matter against Melania, as long as you can get a thing off. It's just, we do a charge or two and then she goes into waterfowl, like we're just dead. So, something to be mindful of. Nice. Goodbye. Oh, well, since she gave us one, I guess we don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh, that is a super easy one to get. That is definitely gonna be the one that we get from now on. Like, get one for killing Anastasia? Yes, please. Okay. Nice. All right, before we do anything dumb, let's heal, just in case. Nice. Good looks. Good looks. All right, we'll probably go all the way down to Melania and then go level up our weapons. Officially in the hallowed tree. Shoo. Once again, something I always say that I need to do, but. That's bothersome. All right, come on, Loretta. Oh, let me get my runes. You stay there. I misread that. Ah, <sighs> I read that she was gonna go into phase two and she didn't. Goodbye, Loretta. Oh, that was rough. That was rough. All right. We are in business. I remember where the somber ancient dragon smithing stone, whatever that I was gonna pick up is. Thanks to the putrid avatar. Nice. Ah, get through the breakable things. Get her going. Get the rolling going, baby. All right, now we're definitely gonna go rank up our weapons because we'll probably die here. We've gotten a lot better at Melania, but not quite. I, would, I definitely wouldn't say good. I would say our Melania skill at the moment is manageable. So not good, but manageable. All right, Melania, who has never known defeat. Uh, let's try that. Uh, well, let's confirm my theory and then we will probably switch still. Five fifteen is pretty good damage for an R one. Nice. Yeah, it does. And we're still doing pretty all right.
Oh, dang it. See, and this is exactly why I need to learn how to dodge waterfowl when she jumps literally on top of you. Oh, man. Because that was our first time. That was our, that was our first try. Could have killed her right there. Because I unlocked. That's a tragedy. That was a bad dodge. Nice. Kind of just destroying her a little bit. If she had gone into Waterfowl there, I probably would have cried. Yeah, that's phase one. I'll take it. Bro. Too late. We got lucky. Okay, we are gonna do this because we don't have time for the running R2, which is absolutely wild. There's only one way to end this. Screw you, Melania. Yes, my strength is rather strong. Look at this guy. Look at him. We got blood on our nose. Dude, it's always so, like, killing Melania, you have so many different feelings. When you did good, there's so much satisfaction, but then like when you feel like you could have been doing better, then you feel almost worse after killing her. All right, just got Moog left and that'll be it, which Moog's Moog. He's fine. Moog's fine. He's not an easy boss just because of his AOE, but I mean, definitely not the hardest Remembrance boss. Yeah. The reason I know that that's so good is in my first ever playthrough, I used the uh, Winged Scythe, which uh, the Ash of War absolutely carries it because it does holy damage, and most of the mainline bosses, if not all of them, are resistant to holy damage, so it was tough. I also, for whatever reason, on my first casual playthrough ever, decided to do all bosses. So it, I have like 100 hours in that character. It's something ridiculous. I don't understand why there's a sanguine noble there, like just protecting the traitor. And why is there a traitor there? That makes no sense. I guess Moog has to get his groceries from somewhere. Uh, we might as well just use these. They're not gonna have another time to use them anyways. All right, friends, let's go kill Moog. Now we definitely don't need three blues. I don't know why we have three blues, other than the fact that I just got lazy and didn't change it. Should be able to roll poke on these? Yeah, I think so. Poke. Oh, nice. Oh, man. Bodies. Absolute bodies. I'll do this again. That was fun. Okay, nice dodge. I'm stuck in a wall. Goodbye. That was worth it. That was worth it. We killed him in a cool way. Of our dynasty. Alrighty. Let's see how high we get. Cool. Alright, well, uh, that is the Vagabond upgraded. Uh, level 129, 50 vigor, because I don't know why. 28 strength, 50 intelligence. Um, 37 endurance because this thing is freaking heavy. But yeah, that was it. Royal Greatsword, the Reservoir Circle, and the Ice Crush Shield, which we actually never use. So, it is what it is, though.